Hi, Peter Salemi, and welcome to the Watchman Program. If you were a first century man like the Apostle John, and you got projected forward into time, and you saw things like helicopters and battle tanks, missiles coming out of silos, and you saw nuclear war, how would you describe it? Well, of course, you would use the language of your day. You wouldn't write down, I saw helicopters, I saw tanks, I saw missiles. Absolutely not. You would describe what you saw in the language of your day. Now, there are many things in the prophecies that for many, many centuries didn't make sense to a lot of people. When they saw in the prophecies, just this one in Revelation, the ninth chapter, verse 17, it says, And thus I saw the horses in the vision, and them that sat on them, having breastplates of fire, and of jacinth, and brimstone, and the heads of the horses were of the heads of lions, and out of, the, out of their mouths issued out fire, and smoke, and brimstone. What do you think he saw there? Well, he described it in the language of his day, but now, in the end time, because the Bible plainly says in Daniel, the 12th chapter, verse 9, the angel said to Daniel, Go your way, Daniel, for the words are closed up and sealed till the time of the end. And then at the time of the end, these things would be open to our understanding. Now we are in the time of the end, as it clearly says in Daniel, the 11th chapter and verse 40. It says, And at the time of the end, the king of the south shall push at him, that's the king of the north. And we have went over this prophecy many, many times to show you that this happened in 1990 during the Gulf War. So we are in the time of the end, and these things would be revealed to us. Now we can understand this prophecy of Revelation, the 19th chapter, verse 17, where the Apostle John says here, I saw horses in vision. And them that sat upon them, having breastplates of fire, and of jacinth, and brimstone. And the heads of the horses were the heads of lions. And out of their mouths issued out fire, smoke, and brimstone. What the Apostle Paul, uh, the Apostle John is describing here is tanks. And their heads were like the heads of lions, because it roared like lions, because missiles were coming out of their silos. He was describing modern-day warfare, but he was describing it in the language of his day. Now, before I go on, I want to offer you this free booklet, Modern Weapons in the Bible, free of charge, off our website, BritishIsrael.ca. And of course, we will put the link underneath the YouTube player, and you can download it directly from there. Take a look at this, and I'll be right back. King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream that troubled him, and Daniel the prophet came to explain what that dream meant. At first he saw a head of gold, and that was the Chaldean Empire, his empire. After that came the arms of silver, and that was the Persian Empire. After that empire came the torso of brass, and that was the Greco-Macedonian Empire. And after that empire came the two legs of iron, and that was the Roman Empire. After this came the part potter's clay and part iron, which is NATO and the EU in our modern day. And then the iron mixed with miry clay. That is the last resurrection of the Holy Roman Empire that will fight Christ at his coming. For more details, log on to our website at BritishIsrael.ca and download your free booklet, Who, What is the Beast of Revelation? Free of charge off our website, BritishIsrael.ca. The ancient prophets saw locusts and canker worms and caterpillars and so on. And they would say that this is a nation, reading here from Joel, the first chapter, verse 4, it says, which the palmer worm hath left, hath the locust eaten. And then what the locust has left behind, the canker worm has eaten. He's seeing all these huge insects eating up the land. And then it says in verse 6, For a nation has come up upon my land strong and without number, whose teeth are the teeth of a lion, and he hath the cheek uh, teeth of a great lion. Here we see huge insects devouring the land because they were describing what they saw in the language of his day. Now I'm going to show you a clip from the Ch Church of God archives describing Revelation, the ninth chapter. Have you ever wondered what the locusts meant here in this prophecy in Revelation, the ninth chapter? Take a look at this clip. And the shape of the locusts was like horses prepared for battle. And on their heads were crowns of something like gold, and their faces were like the faces of men. 
They had hair like women's hair, and their teeth were like lion's teeth. And they had breastplates like breastplates of iron. And the sound of their wings was like the sound of chariots with many horses running into battle. They had tails like scorpions, and there were stings in their tails. And their power was to hurt man five months. As I said, now that we are in the end time, we can understand many of these prophecies. During the Middle Ages, they didn't understand what Revelation, the 19th chapter, meant when it talks here about locusts. Because helicopters weren't invented yet. These prophecies can only be understood in this end time. The Bible speaks of nuclear warfare. The Bible talks about missiles coming out of silos. The Bible talks about many of the modern day weapons that we have today. I want to show you this one more clip by Hal Lindsey. And he actually describes many things that we see here in the book of Revelation. Take a look at this clip. The prophet Zechariah tells us that the soldiers who fight here will have a most unusual way of dying. First of all, the flesh will be consumed off of their bones, the eyes consumed out of their sockets, and the tongue consumed out of their mouth. But the strange thing is, he says that this will all occur before they can fall to the ground. There's nothing like that except nuclear war. The prophets describe events of enormous destructive power, and yet no one understood them in ancient times. Now, technologically, we see how they could happen. I think one of the most amazing things is the book of Revelation. Here we have a man that speaks of being transported in almost a divine time machine into the future from the first century to almost the end of the 20th century. And he was told to write what he saw and heard. And yet, how could a first century man describe what he saw in the very advanced scientific and technological age that we're in. He had to go back into his own times and take from the phenomena from which he was familiar and uh, bring it into bear and, and try to describe these things in terms of the phenomena of the first century. From the throne issue flashes of lightning and voices and peals of thunder and great hailstones heavy as a hundred pounds dropped on men from heaven till men cursed God for the plague of the hail. The sky vanished and every mountain and island was removed from its place. incidences that indicate the nuclear holocaust is in Revelation chapter 8, where it speaks of John seeing something that looked to him like a meteor hitting the atmosphere, burning and flaming, and then hitting the earth. I believe he was describing beautifully exchange of intercontinental ballistic missiles, which look like a meteor when they re-enter the earth's atmosphere. Yes, the Bible is for our moment in time. It speaks about our modern day in which we live. It describes many things that we have today, like airplanes. You know, the book of Isaiah talks about as birds flying, things leaping over mountains. It's describing airplanes. Other prophets talk about automobiles. So the Bible is accurate when it comes to its prophecies. The Bible Prophecies talk about modern nations like the United States, the British Commonwealth of People. It talks about the peoples of Northwestern Europe, China, Germany, and so on. And if you want to download our booklet, The United States and Britain in Prophecy, it's available free of charge off our website, BritishIsrael.ca, and it talks about our modern nations today. Yes, the Bible is for our moment in time, and I urge you to read our booklet, download it free of charge off our website, BritishIsrael.ca, Modern Weapons in the Bible. And of course, we will put the link underneath the YouTube player and you can download it directly, download it directly from there.
This is Peter Salemi saying goodbye, friends, and I'll see you here next time on the Watchman Program.